Chief Operations Officer of the Queen Elizabeth Hospital, Dr. Christine Greenwich, is warning of a worrying trend. On a monthly basis, we see about 170 uh, patients every month. Every month, we also are seeing five to six new patients coming in for treatment. Last month in July, we were really astounded to have 14, 14 new patients receiving dialysis. Dialysis is the treatment given to prolong the lives of people in end-stage renal failure. What is also causing some alarm is that the patients are getting even younger. Our youngest person is just turned 15 years old. In a bid to arrest this trend, officials want people to see their doctors and make lifestyle changes to prevent the onset of non-communicable diseases. Those with diabetes and hypertension can also avoid progressing to kidney failure by taking their medication as prescribed and modifying their diets and lifestyle. For those already dealing with kidney failure, the hospital's COO wants more family members to consider donating a kidney to their loved ones. We can live normal, healthy lives with just one kidney. We are blessed by the Almighty to be born with two that are functional. And so um, we wouldn't have an increased need. Uh, Dr. Brown mentioned that there will be ongoing cases for dialysis, but certainly we can reduce the number of people if we have more people being sensitized to the importance of donating uh, kidneys. While the hospital currently does kidney and corneal transplants, Acting Health Minister Dr. Sonia Brown says the public should be hearing more soon on plans to introduce legislation to allow people to donate their organs when they die. So the idea is to get patients, not patients, the public agreeing um, if that if something happens, an accident, a fatal ha accident, um, that they're willing with a card or whatever we put in place to, to agree to donate. I, I want to add, though, that the donation is not a, I agree today, and it has to be so. You're able to turn back at any point. This is one of the parts we're making in legislation. We have even been looking at including minors in terms of not organ donation, but, re, well, regenerative organ donations, like, for instance, the liver that can grow back. Dr. Brown acknowledges this will require sensitizing the public on the fact that one donor could improve the lives of more than a dozen people. Sharika Griffith, CBC News.